this is the road to the grand finals as we begin to gather our 28 finalists for a spelling showdown at Dewan Bahasa dan Pustaka Kuala Lumpur. That's right. Now at this point, it's four states down, ten more to go as we reveal the state champions of the RHB New Straits Times National Spell It Right Challenge 2011, one by one. Here's your word, inimical, inimical. I beg your pardon? Inimical. Inimical, I-N-I-M-I-C-A-L, inimical. Anusha, you are the champion. Congratulations, Salamo champion. I feel very happy that I've won to, for today and able to accompany Selango as the next national uh, what, state challenge winner. I just asked my dad, because my dad has been a former English teacher, so he gave me more courage, encouragement la, to enter here. Hanusha is actually a, a very active girl. Ever since she was small, she was very interested in sports. Other than that, we let her take part in Taekwondo, Kumon, just for studies. We are the one actually holding her back. I think my hobbies are collecting stamps, uh, playing drum, and the classical dance, uh, Bardenatyam. She told the father that she will start to uh, do her practicing. So for this uh, final one, I think she can uh, put in more effort on the uh, dictionaries. Never give up. Don't be too overconfident. You know, don't don't so confident, and you know you can lose focus. Don't be nervous. I wish all the best to Hanusha. I'm Hanusha Visa Baskaran, and I am a representative for Selangor. And I'll see you in the National Primary Challenge Finals in Kuala Lumpur. Our Spell Basilosis. Basilosis. B A C I L L O S I S. Basilosis. Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our champion, and that champion is Amirul Fitri bin Zainal Abidin. Stand up and wave. Okay. Um, actually, I feel very proud. Huh? Um, he won this last year and he did it again. So um, I think all his work paid off. Lah. So, um, we're very proud. Amirul ni, pasal dia ni anak lelaki paling kecil. Seorang aja anak lelaki. Kemudian di atas kakak. Jadi terus terang, Manti katakan, dia sangat rapat dengan Anti. Daripada kecil, dia, dia suka membaca lebih advance daripada umur dia. Last year, uh, at the national level, he only managed to get number three, third place. Uh, but I think it's good enough as a, as a first first step. The finals, that one, that one was kind of intense because I was uh, on a tie with the, for the second place. Kenneth was uh, the, the winner, he just he spelled all of the words correctly. So uh, uh, there was a tie between me and Alina, the state uh, champion for Malacca. Somehow she got the uh, winning word, so I got the thing. Whether you 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 you, uh, you are successful or not successful, you must accept it's a process of learning. I hope that I won't make the mistake. Wow, I'm amazed at the kind of lifestyle these go-getter kids. So you got oh, taekwondo yeah. lesson, mm -hmm. you got drumming lessons, mm -hmm. you got Bharatanatyam lessons. Where do we find the time to do all this? <laughs> now, at any rate, let's hope Hanusha and Amiro will be able to make Selangor proud. Congratulations to them both, and also to little Sovina, a modest primary state champion from Sabah. Let's take a look. Your word is iatrophobia. 
Iatrophobia is a fear of doctors. The sentence is, if you fear doctors, then you must be suffering from Iatrophobia. This is for first prize, Sabina. Please spell Iatrophobia. Iatrophobia. I A T R O P H O B I A. Iatrophobia. You're going home with 2,000 ringgit. Congratulations, you are the first prize winner of the RHB Straits Times SIR, spell it right, Sabah leg for the primary school round. Congratulations. I am so happy, I can't explain how happy I am today uh, because my daughter won first prize. Very happy, excited. I can't wait to go to KL. Saya rasa bersyukur dan saya rasa bertuah sebab uh, akhirnya uh, Serigaya mendapat juara dan saya berterima kasih. Saya rasa bangga sangatlah. My grandfather inspired me a lot. He tests me almost every day. She is a precious granddaughter of mine, the first grandchild. I like to pick up some words from the medical profession and ask her some words whether she could spell or not. And she's very... Her brain mentality, her brain capacity. I never used that word before. I was like quite frustrated. We're back here on the RHB New Space Times National Spell It Right Challenge 2011. Now the road to the Grand Finals, Naz, takes us to Sarawak, the land of the Hornbills. But if you are Sabahan, you are just in time to find out more about your state representative in the secondary division. We are talking about 17-year-old underdog Natalie Vusak, a finalist who showed everyone that anyone can do it. Bagus Your word? has two pronunciations schism or schism they're both spelled the same way please spell the word schism schism s-c-h-i-s-m schism that is correct Congratulations, Natalie, you've won first prize. Thank you so much. Did you expect to win? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Um, are you happy? You don't look so happy. Obviously, it will make me feel awesomely proud because this is my first time joining. Mm, yeah. Okay. How did you feel beating last year's champion in the finals? Um, not so proud. He seems like a really, really nice guy. Yeah, and he seems really down about it. Guilty man. Well, especially when a lot of people have made a lot of preparations, they've actually come the day before to write down words, and you just come in front of nowhere and you take the title, you know? So how does that make you feel? I feel like an underdog, man. <laughs> she got um, one of the top students for PMR in 2009. She's hardworking, she's an obedient child. She's a very jovial girl, right? Um, not really the serious type, but definitely a very hardworking girl. She's magical. One of a kind. Natalie is very outgoing. She is very outgoing. She's actually very smart, even though she doesn't say so. And she's very... Her brain mentality, her brain capacity. Woo, even during the practice, she was always like on top. I'm going to get a dictionary for her. Uh, it's, I think it's the Colin Scoville Dictionary. And I'm going to give her I'm, I'm going to give her another dictionary, the Advanced Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary. And then maybe if time permits, I will definitely do it together with her. My friends, they help me a lot too from tuition and they also, they always tutor me in class and outside of school. My hope is at least for her to get into the, to be one of the finalists. Of course, to be the national champ if possible. Wusak, I hope you kill it. Seriously, in KL, I'm so proud of you. You got so far already. I love you. Woo! Good luck. See you in the final challenge in KL. The winner for today's secondary level who takes back 3,000 ringgit and a plug, and it goes to Natalie Wusak Boniface Jean Turning. Very happy.
happy and very grateful to my uh, father, parents, and God too. I didn't believe that I won this competition because it, it's my first time entering this competition challenge. Have you heard I never used that word before. Your word is awkward. Spell awkward. Awkward. A W K W A R D. Awkward. Congratulations. You are correct. I was pretty nervous at first, but when I got the 15, among the 15 finalists, well, I'm very sure that I can win. Dia jenis suka, suka bersaing. Apa-apa yang ada di luar tandingan ke apa, dia nak masuk juga. Sebenarnya kita uh, kita pun tak tahu ini. yang dia dah dirancang untuk masuk ke, uh, ke program ini. Ya. Hmm. Tapi masa dia tahun lepas, Rajah Lima, dia ada ada bertanya yang kita orang kenapa dia tak masuk kan <laughs> kenapa dia tak kena pilih masuk kan they give me support and they also train me like my father said just did and he give me some word and try to spell it. if i spell it wrong he will tell me the correct answer and wrote it in a book i'm pretty scared to be there because all the champions of the every state in Malaysia, they're like living dictionaries so maybe I could try my best luck and I hope that I can win. Our champion for RHB New Street Time Spell It Right Challenge for Sarawak State Primary. Spell vacuum. Vacuum. V A C U O L E. Vacuum. Ahmad, you are the state champion. Last year I am Test Parade right? and I didn't manage to go into the finals. I lost at the fifth round with a former champion, a girl from Green Road. So I was like quite frustrated. So I joined again this year and thankfully I got I, I managed to be the champion. My teachers gave me lists of words that possibly will come out. They helped me a lot. All my supporters, they are mostly my friends. And I'm thankful and grateful because they managed to come to come down to spring to support me from their life. Their support actually made my actually burned my spirit. He's very interested in words, okay, which helps a lot. Um, he has not only um, Oxford Dictionary, but he has uh, Miriam Webster, which according to him helps him a lot. Well, I do encourage him to use words, big words, and from time to time he would be able to come up with those words. And sometimes I myself have to refer to dictionary to see whether the words really exist or not. <laughs> Read the dictionary one week before. But he's a bit annoying at times. <laughs>Dear viewers, welcome back to the RHB New Straits Times National Spell It Right Challenge 2011. Now, for those of you who've just joined us, we've already revealed the winners of Sabah, Sarawak and Slango Primary and Secondary Divisions and they are bringing home 2,000 ringgit and 3,000 ringgit respectively. Mm, now, for the final destination in this episode, we travel to the historic city of Malacca and let's find out who will be representing Malaccan interests in this national challenge. For your first word, it is augment. The word is augment. A augment. A U G M E N T. Augment. That is correct. Thank you very much. We have already got a first place winner. State champion is Wong Ji Shu Shi. Congratulations, my dear. The P is uh, very happy, but also very quite disappointed for my friends because I'm thinking, oh, poor them, they didn't win. I wish I could give up my prize for them. I didn't even know there was a spelling competition until my teacher told me and asked me if I was interested. So I said, yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. I felt very scared, so I just read the dictionary one week before. She's a very uh, special girl to us, uh, very interesting, uh, she's an avid reader and uh, 
she besides uh, doing school work, she does a lot of uh, music practice uh, daily. She enjoys playing the piano. And she also learns the violin. Her particular interest at the moment is uh, cooking. She loves uh, food, she says, and uh, she says she wants to be a chef. It smells good, but it, has no, but it hasn't got a lot of shape. I hope to be able to prepare her in the coming uh, competition, in the National Challenge, because I believe it's going to be much tougher and she's going to face a, a lot of uh, very, very good competitors. My journey from the National Challenge is going to be quite tough, but I hope to get this prize. Okay. Your word is suffragette. Woman campaigning for the right to vote. Her term paper was on the suffragette movement. Your word, suffragette. Suffragette. S-U-F-F-R-A-G-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Suffragette. Correct. Correct. I've known Barrett for 11 years now. Uh, Barrett is a very kind, smart, hardworking, diligent, talented boy. I think he deserves to win this competition, but he's a bit annoying at times. He's smart, talented, he can play really good musical instruments, and he's very good in English. I'm very glad to be his English teacher because he's a very bright student of mine, especially in English. He always saw excellent results. He's a good writer. He has most of, you know, like, he tries to get all the books, you know, you know especially like you were when you was in the lower secondary and all that. This family and Harry Potter and all the whole series finish lah. Every one of it. And then other story books and all. So he's a uh, avid reader. Lah. If there's one thing I like, I would say I like music very much. In fact, I'm taking it for SPM this year. Although at first I may seem quiet, shy, but then as you get to know me, I'm not like that at all. I'm definitely not quiet. <laughs> Wow, it looks like the Malacca finalists are truly all-rounders. Bareth, the garment and champion, and cheeky violin fiddling, ivory tickling, and gregarious chef to beat Wang Zhu Shi will definitely add colour to the grand finals here in Kuala Lumpur. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you so much for being with us on this journey. Thank you indeed. Now, Naz, at this point, I'm... I the last lost count. Uh, have, are you keeping tabs? Me? Yeah. Mm. Uh, luckily, I eat ginkgo biloba, so I remember. Yes, Good. next week, we are going up north to Penang, Trengganu and Kelantan. And let's find out who the state champions are from these areas. I'm Nazrudin Rahman. And I'm Erin Yusuf. Don't forget to join us next week on the RHB New Straits Times National Spell It Right Challenge 2011. Alright, audience, your word is... Dinner time. Dinner time. Oh